and welcome back to week three of Mindful Mondays. So in week one, we looked at the idea of paying attention to our simple physical experiences, the body as we have it right now. And to do this, we looked at the body as a sequence of movements through it, a, a bit like a, a torch shining in the dark, illuminating different points in our body stage by stage by stage, being systematic and going through it in a way that brought our attention simply to the body as it is right now. And in week two, we took that idea into um, the process of listening, listening without opinions, listening without judgments. And we did this by sitting by an open window or an open door or in the garden. And we did it by just allowing ourselves to know what it is that's what it is that's around us, the sounds, indeed the smells if, if there were any, but the sounds particularly, just listening to how it was there and then at that moment. No opinions, no judgments, they were necessary. They were fine if you made them, but they weren't necessary to make. And so what we're introducing is the idea of mindfulness as a new habit of attention. Mindfulness as attention to this moment, here and right now. And so in the third session today, we're going to look at exploring the habits that we have. I've talked, I've talked before about the idea of mindfulness as a, a sort of challenge in a way to the autopilot that we spend most of our lives living on. And quite often mindful activities can be brought to bear, mindfulness thinking rather, can be brought to bear on activities which take place every day in every simple way we live our lives. So today to illustrate that, we're going to look at the idea of mindfulness. When we do that thing in the morning, which we do when we boil a kettle and make a cup of tea. And here's an opportunity for a mindful moment. So what I'm going to do, I've got a kettle here just out of shot of the camera, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it on and I'm going to sit with it and I encourage you to sit with me and then take this practice when you make a cup of tea after this video or later on in the morning or another time during the day and perhaps you use it to illustrate, to, to sort of illustrate to yourself the way in which mindfulness can be found in any one moment whether it's in a bus queue or shopping or in any of the activities that in normal times we would be so familiar with. But right now, right in this moment, I'll switch the kettle on. Before I do that, I'm just going to set, settle down in my chair and I'm going to switch it on and then I'm going to listen through, right the way through until the kettle boils and then when it stops. I'm going to do this in a relaxed way, focus down, close my eyes and switch the switch on.
you notice? Be curious about that. What did you notice? Did you did you notice the silence that followed it? Was it noisy? Was it restful? Was it pleasurable? Was it did it feel frustrating? Did it feel like a waste of time? Could you be using your time better? Is there something you needed to go on to do? Was it holding you back? What we've done here is to create a mindful moment. A moment where the everyday activities of our life are suspended for a moment and we take a moment out. We notice our attention. We notice how our attention jumps around. We notice how our attention is itself something we can think about. Quite often we're sort of inside our attention. We, we, we're looking at the world through it. But rarely do we sit back and notice the way we attend to the world. Notice the way we're always on the move or notice how we're always thinking, working out, calculating, thinking about the past, worrying about the future. But right here and now, in a sense, is where we live our lives. Now, the activity of boiling a kettle really does remind us that there are simple processes that we use every single day. And these processes, these activities, can be moments where we can catch hold of our attention and bring ourselves back to this moment. Whether it be waiting, as I say, for a bus or in a queue, or indeed waiting to see a doctor, waiting in a, in a surgery, uh, waiting room. Here's an opportunity for us to sort of come back to our body, right here, right now, to notice our breath, to notice our position, notice the way we're sitting, allow ourselves to rest into the weight of our body, pressing down, allow ourselves to acknowledge the fact that we're here, right now, and the future will be what the future will be, and the past was what the past will be, but right now, right here. This is where we are. So next week, what we're going to do is to look at where we take this further and taking it further into other activities, not particularly boiling kettles and things like that, but activities of mindful appreciation of our sense of ourselves. And we're going to start doing an exercise which is really about allowing ourselves to follow our breaths to sit with our breaths and just notice our breaths in and out. Again, giving us something to attend to, but something that doesn't excite our attention, something that draws us out into the world, not something that draws us into doing. This is allowing us to sit and be. Anyway, I hope that was interesting. I hope that you're able to use this in the mornings when you make a cup of tea or in the evenings before you go to bed. Just allow this to use this as an illustration of bringing yourself back to the moment and allowing yourself to be in that moment through the duration of the time. OK, well, I look forward to seeing you here next week. And uh, in the meantime, stay well and stay safe. Take care. Bye.